Have you done those letters yet, Mary? Not yet, Mr. Davis. I'm still typing them. And have you telephoned Mr. Jackson? Yes, I phoned him a moment ago. He wasn't in his office. I'm going to phone him again in a few minutes. Good. Thank you. Goodbye. Hello. What have you done today, Francis? I've typed a lot of letters. I want the letter to Mr. Johnson. I've just typed it. Here you are. And the letter to Mr. Bailey. I haven't typed that one yet. Has Mr. Davis telephoned? No, not yet. Francis, you need a new secretary. Yes, I do. <laughs> I haven't got a secretary. Jane's gone. She's got a new job, and I'm very busy. I've typed 25 letters today. Hello, Francis Matthews speaking. A party? Yes. Yes, I'll come tonight. Uh, excuse me. I'm very busy now. Goodbye. I need a new secretary today. Where's Francis? He's still at the office. Where's Diana? She's in the kitchen. She's cleaning the glasses. Diana, have you cleaned the glasses yet? Have you cleaned the glasses yet? I cleaned a lot. I cleaned a lot. I'm still cleaning them. I'm still cleaning them. I've just cleaned another one. I've just cleaned another one. What's happened? What have you done, Diana? I've broken some glasses. <laughs> I always break things. Here are your letters, Mr. Davis. Thanks, Mary. I've telephoned Mr. Jackson again, but he's still not in his office. Doesn't matter. I'll phone him later. Where are you going on holiday next year? I don't know. Have you been to Germany? Yes, I've had a holiday in Germany. I went there a year ago. What about Spain? I've already been there. Have you been to Portugal? No, not yet. I've never been to Portugal. Goodbye. Sorry about that. Now, you'd like to be my secretary, Miss... Uh, Mrs... Uh... Miss Winter. Ah, yes. Miss Winter. So, you... Yes, I'd like to be your secretary. What work have you done? Well, I was a nurse for six years, and then I worked in a bank. But that was a few years ago, and now I'm secretary. How long have you been a secretary? I've been a secretary for one year, since last August. So you've been a secretary for one year. In London? No, I worked in Manchester for three months. I came to London nine months ago. So you've worked in London since last November? Yes, that's right, Mr. Matthews. Excuse me. Oh, don't worry, Miss... Uh... Winter. Mabel. Winter. <coughs> You've lived in London since November, and you're not married? No. Not yet. Excuse me. Hello, Francis Matthews here. It's Jane here. I telephoned you a moment ago. I've been busy. I don't like my new job. I don't like it at all. Can I come and work for you again? Yes. Yes, come back next week. Please. Do you like your new job, Jane? No, I don't. What are you going to do? I'm going to work for Francis again. Huh? Next week. Is he here? Who? Francis? 
Yes, he arrived a few minutes ago. He's coming this way. Hello, Bill. Hello, Jane. I brought this for you. Thank you. Are you going to open it? Yes. I made it for you. Are you going to wear it? Uh, yes. I am going to wear it. Oh, but not now. I'm going to open another bottle of wine. I live in the next flat. When is that music going to stop? Not yet. We're having a party. Would you like to come in? Would you like some cake? I've just made it. No, thank you very much. Would you like some wine? No, thanks. Are you going to dance? No, thank you. I'll sit down here for a moment. I don't like parties. I prefer watching television. How long have you been a model? For about a year. Fiasco was my first important job. But it went wrong. It was my fault. I'm sorry. Not at all. It was my fault. I broke things, fell into the water. It wasn't like a television commercial. It was like... It was like a comedy. <laughs> I'm sorry things went wrong. What will you do now? I don't know. I'd like to make a film. A film about love. I've worked in Paris. How long were you there? I was there for a year. Have you been there? To Paris? Yes. No, I haven't. It's a wonderful place. Shall we go there? You and me? Why? Well, you're not married, are you? No. Do you mean? Yes. Will you marry me, Helen? You want to marry me? It'll be like a commercial for fiasco. No, it won't. It'll be wonderful, Helen. Let's get married. Yes. Yes, of course I'll marry you, Mike. Darling. Oh. 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 Are you all right, Mike? Oh. Oh. Hey, be careful. Don't do that. Don't worry. I just asked Helen to marry me. What? Marry you? Yes. Isn't it wonderful? Well, of course it's wonderful. I, I mean the fiasco commercial. That's wonderful. 
Yes. Uh, now then, uh, uh, you come with me. Come and have a look at it. I've got a taxi. It's waiting. Get down there. Down. Down. All right, Sam. Now watch this. Things happen to people who drink fiasco. Things happen to people who drink fiasco. But why do they have to happen to me? <laughs> 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 Isn't that good? That will sell fiasco. <laughs> Where's that? When can you make another commercial for me? Not yet, I'm afraid. No, first we're getting married. Then we're going to Paris. Oh dear. Something will happen. Something will go wrong. Not, Not this, this time, time, Mr. Mr. Grant. <laughs> well, now, let's drink to that. <laughs> In this program, we learned... Have you cleaned the glasses yet? I've cleaned a lot. I'm still cleaning them. I've just cleaned another one. Are you enjoying the party now? Yes, and I have to go, I'm afraid. But first, I'd like to hear a song. I've really enjoyed the party, but now I have to go home. I drink some wine, I'm having a time, but now I have to go. We've drunk some wine and we're having a time, but now we have to go. It was very nice to meet you. I've had a very good time. I'd like to stay, but I have to go. 